Hi there, students. Para. Okay, we use para as a prefix. I think if you hear the word a para on its own, I would either think of um, a paratrooper. In British English, the paras, the paratroopers. Or maybe as a contraction of a paragraph in the first para. But we've got lots and lots of words that begin with this prefix para. Um, and para has a huge variety of meanings. So, for example, we've got the word parallel, meaning alongside, next to. So, two things that are parallel run in a straight line, and one is beside another. And th this is one of the meanings of para, beside, next to. Okay? Um, pa uh, para. We have a paradox. Okay? Um, I, a paradox is something that's strange. It's you've got two things that are mutually exclusive. And I think, again, we've got both things existing side by side, one uh, next to the other. Yeah. Um, OK, you've got a paramedic or a pal paramilitary. This is similar to, sort of, helping to do a similar job. Uh, Maybe a paramedics between the ambulance driver and the full doctor. Or may maybe a paramedic is somebody on the scene, a paramilitary as well. We also use para in words like parapsychology, something that goes beyond, beyond what is normal, beyond what is natural, yeah, further, further than. Um, Okay, paranoia. Paranoia is when you, you think everybody's out to get you. Okay, so this is paranoia beyond your mind, further. Abnormal, para, abnormal as well, not normal, not uh, what, what normally happens. Um, a parachute, going back to the para, yeah. Um, uh, Para here, protection against, as in a parasol, yeah? The parachute, la chute in French is a fall. So, protection against the fall, para, against, holding back. Um, a paradigm, a paradigm, okay? A paradigm is a way of believing, of doing something, a way of showing something, yeah? Uh, a pattern for something. And I guess the para bit here is to show beside, it's next to, yeah? It's showing uh, a pattern next to the other. These two things are very close, para, yeah? And, um, okay, yeah, this uh, para, beside, near, next to, um, similar to, resembling, yeah? paramedic, a paralegal as well, um, a paraprofessional, a subsidiary, an, an assistant, yeah, something that's beyond the normal, um, paranormal, alongside, next to, parallel. Um, they use this word para in organic chemistry to show the position of something. Um, okay, so para, um, paraamnesia, something that resembles, it's similar to uh, amnesia, but it's not amnesia. Uh, protection against, a parachute, a parasol. Um, having two, occupying uh, or belonging to uh, two positions, parallel, para. So, um, as to origin, this comes from the ancient Greek word para, meaning beside, next to, near, from, against, contrary to. And there we go, we've already got lot, lots of, of, of uh, different meanings to it. Um, as to formality, hmm, parachute, paradox, paradigm. It depends on the word. I think generally a para word is probably a little bit more formal, but 
I can't say a lot more than that. So, para. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Para.